pro child labor that's 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 different yeah okay i don't even know what a polycentrist is <laughs> it means i advocate for a decentralized judicature system who one okay. that is and what about how you what's that it means i uh, like the views of a economist friedrich hayek okay where are you from croatia okay and are you gay what are you gay i i i'm not but you just support them uh -huh. fair enough i got no problem with anybody's sexual preference but i don't agree with men being women and women being men like there are two identities there are two sexes men and women oh uh, okay so um yeah sure um yeah, I don't, I don't really care about that stuff, to be honest. <laughs> well, the reason I care is because of this way. The reason I care is I'm a grown man, and okay. I don't want a bloke in his 30s who's got a penis, who wears a dress and calls himself Sharon, going into the girls' toilet with my six-year-old niece or nephew or daughter or whatever. I think it's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. I've got no problem with a man putting on a dress and saying he's a man that fancies men, but he's not a woman, he's a man in a dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can see how that could cause uh, a lot of serious problems, yeah. Well, it, it, but I've got no problem with men fancying men or women fancying women. I just, you're a woman, you're a man. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should be teaching kids at school about gay sex either. Uh, hmm. Like, should we pretend that it doesn't exist or should we just not mention it? Or, or... Well, guess what? Pedophilia exists. You don't teach kids at school that. Witchcraft exists. We don't teach that at kids at school either. Like, well, there's certain things you don't need to teach children. Like, you, do, do you watch porno, porno at school? No, you don't need to teach kids porn either. So they have no reason oh, to know about oh, somebody's oh. sexual preference. I don't agree that witchcraft exists. I don't. Okay, I mean, sure, there are probably people who believe that exists and do some rituals, right? But I well, don't it happens. Think and in England, we used to burn women as witches, but we don't oh. teach that to kids. But that's a fact. We did. Oh, you mean like never? Don't tell kids about all the bad stuff that's happened. Well, it's I mean, not even bad stuff. It's just certain things are inappropriate for children. And talking about sex, which which LBGTQ or whatever it is, it's about a sexual preference. It's not nature. It's not biology. It's about somebody's sexual preference. Now, if the whole world was gay and lesbian, there'd be no humans left. Well, I don't. I don't think that it's necessarily about just sexual preference. I think that it's a bit. Well, more it's, well what else is it about then? It's about, it's about instead of instead of normal man woman reproducing to make children, which is true. Two men can't produce a child. Two women cannot produce a child. Yeah, that's true. And we should probably tell kids that that's true. You know, yeah, sure. But I don't think that uh, that this is just about uh, the kinky sick stuff. Okay, I think that it's a bit more complicated than that. I think that certain what people. Is it? Just... Well, you 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 choose to make it complicated. It's not. It's a case of that is what they prefer. As a boy, if you want children, you have to be with a girl. If you do not want children or you're attracted to the same sex as you, you're going to have to adopt. You cannot make children with two men. Okay, I, I'm not going to disagree that in order to make children, you need a biological male and a biological female. I just think that the movement, uh, there are some aspects of it that are crazy and that are promoting sick shit, okay? But I think that the movement as a whole, that generally it's not just about, it, it definitely isn't about convincing people that two men can make a baby or that two women can make a baby no they're trying to tell us that it's normal it's and it's right it's not normal it's not natural well i think they're trying to make it more normal yes they are which it isn't if i was to try but and I tell you that cool. child labor is normal it's not if i was to tell you that mm -hmm. devil worshiping is normal when it's not okay um, when i add a tag okay when i add like the thing okay it doesn't mean that i believe that it is the current norm it just means that it's something that i promote right so lgbtq people i don't yeah, think that's that normal that's, that's the difference that they promote. you're not i'm asking you why do you promote it when it's basically a mental health condition um which it is well i think that it depends on like the society it's, it's the same as religious it. people i consider that a mental health problem too on what religion mental health problem uh yeah I, well i mean humans are pretty genetically predisposed to just believing not not being perfect rational robots right we we are very imperfect so <laughs> okay, you know, that... just look at this one thing christianity biggest religion in the world close your eyes and describe jesus to me white guy blue eyes long hair correct yes that's incorrect isn't it oh, because no, uh, jesus was an arab no no uh brown hair right black. a brown hair but white skin blue eyes or whatever he's he's he's, he's a white man but, more Middle Eastern probably. Um, right. But he's not portrayed that way. If you show me any picture of Jesus, mm -hmm. I, he doesn't look Middle Eastern to me, he looks white. 
Okay, and? And my point being is, is the Bible, and which we all know is based in Bethlehem or Jerusalem, Arabic countries, yet the whole world, especially Americans, believe Jesus is a white man. Yet the Bible then tells us stories that Jesus had friends called Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Go to these Arab states now and find me five guys in the same town named Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They don't exist. Yeah, and in it's, Croatia, it's, it's, we call them, we use Croatian names to name them. We call them Mate, Luca, Ivan. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still, it's, 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 how could I put this? It's people that are stupid. It, 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 it's not real. Like, uh, yet the whole world wants to believe mm -hmm. in the Bible. Yet, if you support LGBTQT, like, every single religion says it's against their God. Like, no religion supports that. Okay, I, I think that religion is fairly normal, fairly common. I think if you would if you would be in a world surrounded by religious people, you can say every single one person except for me is you know has a mental illness. But you know it's it's what is normal in in this like uh, currently. No, 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 no. See, this is where I disagree. Just okay. Do you know if do you know if you, say we're in a community of a hundred people and ninety nine of them are kiddie fiddlers? Does it make kiddie fiddling nice? Right? Just because it's the majority? No, it doesn't. It still means it's wrong. Just I, I would everybody's disagree, wrong. Yeah. I just like I would disagree with the religious people, even though they're all around me. Yeah, and yeah. This my point being is just part. because of the majority doesn't make them right. Yeah, I'm not saying they're right, but earlier I'm trying to continue the conversations where you cut me off. We were talking about what is normal, and you were saying that it's not. No, no, I didn't say normal. I said it was a mental health condition. It's not normal. There's no such thing as normal. Well, I was sure that you used the word the word normal. No, I said they uh, have mental health problems. Okay. Yeah, anyway, I don't think we're really uh, fruitful in this conversation. Like, I mean, I, I still support all the things that I support, and I'm not sure... Yeah, but the difference is you can't give me a reason why, apart from because it's hip and cool and trendy. No, I just think that it would fr be uh, fr fruitful for human flourishing and progress. Well, I'll tell you something. Do you, know, do you know if you want to sit with, say, say there's 10 million humans, yeah? Mm, okay. And 9.9 9 .9 million of them are LGBTQ. Do you know within 20 years there'll be no humans left? Um, so you, so basically, you, just, you don't care about that. Well, you don't care that humanity would die off if you all supported being gay. I don't, I don't have moral weight on humans that don't exist. I only care about humans that exist. Okay. So yeah. you, you, uh, that's fair a lot, of, a lot of nations died out. I mean, the Republic of Cospia died out. But they were all happy, healthy people who lived with a happy, healthy system. And, you know, they just died out naturally. And that's fine. They Think enjoyed that. Yeah, lots of people die out due to war, due to famine, due to disease. People will just die out. No, but, they, they were actually happy in this area, okay? I, I'm not for war, famine, and disease. But they happen. Yeah, they do happen, of course. But I don't think I don't understand why I jumped to this. We weren't. We weren't what do you mean? Because we, you're talking about you support them, and I'm asking you why, and you can't give me a reason why. You support who? Who, who are we talking? LGBT, about? LGBT, whatever you want to call gays. Mm -hmm. Why do you support the gays? Because they will not cause war, famine, and the things you name. I I I don't think. Yeah, but why? why tell me why. Stuff. Tell me why a man that fancies a man will not cause war. <laughs> Like, please tell me how that is a case, that just because they fancy men, you're telling me that a man that fancies women will cause war, but a man that fancies a man won't? I think you're having a bit of an issue with... No, 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 I have asked you one question. You, this is it. I still don't have an answer for why you support them. And you told me just that it's because they won't do war. No, no, I think that we'll, people will just be happier and healthier if they have a choice to express themselves more freely. You can express yourself, but you don't need... I have, like I said, I have no problem with people being gay. I have a problem with having to teach it to children. And do you know gay men? Like, I could be a gay man. But do you know if I was a gay man, I would be like, Hey, how you doing? There's no need for it. There is no need for it whatsoever. I and don't... I don't consider that personal. That is something they put on to draw attention to themselves. I do not understand what you said. I mean, are you just against people having weird mannerisms or are no, you against no, 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 people no. I, 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 saying to this child has to sit down and watch me be like this or is, No, I have no I problem with people being gay. I quite simply asked why do you support them and you can't give me an answer. I think I did. No, you said you told me it's because gay people don't cause wars. I didn't never I never said Okay. That. Again, why do you never support gays? I said that I think it will promote human flourishing. I think that it would be easier for humans to express themselves, be more fulfilled. I never said that they wouldn't cause wars. I don't know why you keep what, putting what, words in my mouth. I don't why, 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 why can't do. straight people uh, express themselves? They can. Why, why, why do... Okay, do you know, do you know gay they people? Do, don't and they can. But the, and that's fine. 
I don't know. I just I don't agree. Uh, okay, well, there's many people in this world, and everyone's different in their own way, you know, and everyone's expressing itself. I'm not saying that we should teach kids about sick, perverted shit. That's not what well, I'm saying. I, I, I'm can, saying... I can see the men, fucking men, sick, perverted shit. What? I can see that men, booming men, sick, perverted shit. I don't think we should teach children that. I also don't think that you see the difference is, is you know, straight people, we don't argue that kids at school should be taught about sex and all the rest of it. They need to understand the birds and the bees, but that's about it. Yet LGBTQT think that we now should be teaching little boys at the age of seven and eight who choose to wear dresses that we should accept that they're girls, not children that don't know their identity. Mm-hmm. Now, if you had a son, question, a six year old son, and he was wearing dresses as kids. A six-year-old boy will look like a six-year-old girl if he has long hair and a dress, like it just will. I've got a nine-year-old nephew who has long hair and people think he's a girl. Sure, yeah, I, I used to look, everyone used to think that I was a girl when I was like seven. Yeah, so today's LBGTQ society now think that we should then go to that six-year-old and then call him a girl and tell everybody to describe that child as a girl. That is wrong. He's a, he's a boy that's wearing girls' clothes. That's it, it's a boy. Like, until that boy becomes the age of 16, 18, 21, whatever age, 25 maybe, when it's at an age where it can make up its own mind, I don't think you should be pushing onto a child that's something that's not naturally correct or biologically correct to say that this is normal and it's the way forward because a boy wearing a girl's clothes isn't normal. I guess I'm just confused. Are you saying that every single person who identifies with the LGBTQ movement is making that exact argument? No, but I asked you what for and you said it was just because it makes people happy. That's not a good reason. It doesn't make people happy, though. It causes lots and lots of conflict. Huge conflict it causes. Well, what do you mean? You're telling me you haven't heard any problems about people being... People still get murdered in in Arab countries now for being gay. Yeah, but it's probably like... Yeah, there's probably uh, another form of mental illness just being against people having freedom of expression and freedom to choose partners with uh, no, 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 it, okay. I have no problem with what people do in the privacy of their own home, but it's not done in the privacy of their own home, is it? It's now took into our schools. It's took into our workplaces. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to go home and... OK, society is society. Now, in England and uh, Croatia, where you live, I guess you can do what the fuck you want. Like, in England, if I wanted to walk down the street wearing a dress, I could. It's accepted. If I go to Dubai, as a man, I can't wear a dress and walk down the street. It's not appropriate. It's not allowed by law. That's fair mm-hmm. enough. But what I do in the comfort of my own home is, is okay for me. If people want to be men dressed as women or do the rest of it, that's fine. Do it at home. Do it behind closed doors. It is not something that I should have to watch. Like, I don't go down the street snogging my girlfriend like I'm 12 years <laughs> old and doing the rest of it like 12-year-olds do. But if you notice gay people and lesbian people, like grown-ass men, 30, 40 years of age walk down in hand in hand and have to display it to the world. That is inappropriate, in my opinion. Do it Wait, at home. Do you also think that uh, straight couples shouldn't show uh, affection in public? Uh, the, 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 it's fine to show affection. Have you actually been out? I've been to gay bars and I, I go to the gay quarter quite a lot. I've got lots of gay friends. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you'll find the difference between how gay people decide to, as you want to put it, embrace each other than a straight couple embracing each other. Now, if you look even straight people, I'll be like, guys, get a room. There's, there's, there's a level where you shouldn't do it. And I find course, that, unfortunately, yeah. gay people have to do everything extravagantly. Yeah, I, I think there's yeah, there's always a uh, grey area li- limit. Well, no, like where you... You then, okay, okay, I have a six-year-old Thanks nephew, so. yes? What do you tell him when we go down the street and you see two men kissing? What? And he says, why are two men kissing? What? What's your answer to him? Because they want to. And he's saying, but why is men kissing men? Shouldn't men kiss boys? And you would say, no, it's okay for men to kiss men. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say that. I would say because they're not right. I I, I don't see the point in that. Yeah, I, I think that's harmful, actually. Uh, why I is it harmful? A lot of, because a lot of uh, people, a lot of children can become very depressed, very, you know, mentally unwell because society will tell them that their inherent, you know, tendencies, that they're a natural sick and they, they should they are natural them and they sick. hide them. So they... in what you're saying, then, I should also support men that choose to... Wait. Okay, question for you. No, I have you a question just... for you. You're saying that people are... Disease, that all gay people are sick by what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Basically, yes. Well, I, I, I just disagree. I don't... Okay, I think okay, that but, are... but, okay, it's down to a sexual preference, isn't it? We're talking about a sexual preference. 
that isn't natural mm. because we cannot reproduce with it, so there's no need for it. It's a choice they're making sexually. The same okay. choice a man makes when he fancies children. I, it is exactly the same thing. I yes or no? I wouldn't say that. Why not? Is it a sexual preference? Being gay, is that a sexual preference? Okay, technically it falls in a category of sexual preference. It's exactly the same preference, right? but you're choosing not to put but it in the then, same category then because the you think... Is yeah, that but... natural or wrong? Sorry, what? So you're telling me it's okay to be a man and fancy another man, yeah. but if a man fancies a child, then that's wrong? Yes. I mean, what's the difference? It's, it's wrong if you act upon it because you're engaging, you're enforcing your will onto an, a moral agent with no capacity to engage in that interaction, no capacity to consent, right? Well, I'll, I'll tell you something. Do you know, between the ages of 12 and 18, I was fucking a lot. So the can mm -hmm. is still wrong. Wait, so I just, it, it comes down to a sexual preference. It's not natural. They're not born that way. It's something they have chosen to do. Some people can't help the choices. Like you say, being gay, they can't help it. It would mess with the head. Mm -hmm. Well, same as fancying children. Yeah, but at some point, you know, uh, it just causes harm on everyone else as well. I mean, if something is causing harm to you, but you uh, ch changing your behavior in a way that doesn't cause harm on anyone else, that's good. You can do that and you can change your actions to feel better about yourself, expressing yourself, doing what you love. But if you your being well depends upon harming other people, that's when we have to draw the line and use medication or even, you you know, a more uh, violent measures to prevent that. Well, seeing two gay guys or two gay women kissing and frolicking in front of my children, so to speak, I would find that distressing to me. If they want to do it, do it at home. You shouldn't be doing it where I have to then answer to questions to my children that don't need answering. I don't know. I think keeping children barred from all these things is just really stupid. I mean, when I was like 12, I was watching all kinds of porn already. And, you know, I don't think that I'm traumatized or, or something because of it. You no, know? I was aware that gay people exist. I was aware that lesbian people exist. I was around people who uh, did sexual things. You know, I, I don't think that I was like... Uh, that it was some no, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's, 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 I am, as a straight person, we do not force our sexuality onto others. We are not trying to say this yet. LGBTQ, whatever you want to call it, now. Yeah, but they don't want to force it. We all have to accept their way of choice of living. They're allowed to do what they yeah. want to us. I have to support now men wearing dresses and going to the mm -hmm. girls' toilets. You support all of that, and I don't. Yeah, but there has never been like a societal pressure to oppress straight people. It's just not something that happens. There's no you need to liberate ourselves to you know to free because ourselves. Because it's normal. To be... A question. It, just because, do you know where we argued, well, we had a discussion a moment ago about if 90% of or 99% of the population were all, I don't know, um, doing bush magic or voodoo magic. It doesn't mean that it's right. It means that just mm. the majority of people are sick in the head. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, the I'm reason nobody picks on straight majority. people is because we're normal. It's, it's normal. The reason that mm. we used to, many times, mm. we used to, um, people that were gay got punished for it severely, sometimes killed. The problem is there's that many gay people now that they've stood up and now like, people like you are supporting them. Yeah. Now, I'm... do you know when there's, when there's 27 million paedophiles, are you going to support them too? I don't think I'm going to do that. Why not? Well, for one, it would be really bad for me, okay? If I what about people that like fuck animals? I would end up like Amos Yee or, or, you know... What about people that fuck animals? Um... Yeah, I, they're sure, whatever. I don't so you're fine with that too? Yeah, as long as they don't hurt the animal, you know. Well, come on, what, 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 the animal can turn around and say, oh, I like that, or no, thank you, I don't know, because it's common practice in most countries, like South America, well, they fuck donkeys, most boys lose their virginity to donkeys. Even humans are animals, and we don't, like, communicate consent with, you know, verbal contracts. We just use body language and, you know, gestures, and you just sort of feel the vibe of the room and feel if the other person is comfortable with what you're doing. It's in the same way, animals, you know, they can be, you know, wagging their tail or, you know, going, running away, or, you know, making so what you're That's saying is you... if a 15-year-old boy actually likes being molested by this 40-year-old woman, it's perfectly okay. No, I'm just asking you. When you're saying if a 15-year-old boy likes it, he wants it, you're saying it's okay because he likes it? No. No, I, I don't think that if you're being molested, I don't think that it's... If but, yeah, okay, but we we call it, it's we call good, it molested. Right? Well, I'm sorry. If you, if you like it, you're not being molested, are you? What about the 15-year-old that wants to fuck his teacher? He shouldn't be doing it because he's not old enough, but he is. And I would fuck my teacher when I was 15. She was hot. But it's still wrong. Did you do it? I wish. 
<laughs> yeah, I think that it's there's a difference, uh, there's a biological difference between men and girls, right? Between boys and girls. I think that you would agree with this. And mm -hmm. you know, there's a sort of a power dynamic to the relationship when uh, you know a male and a female are engaging in uh, this thing. You know, girls are more submissive. They tend to go along. They, you can sort of uh guide them into doing things that they might they might not really be comfortable with you know it's sort of uh, a can i ask you a question a personal question because yeah. i think you're chatting shit how many sexual partners have you had zero well i've slept with maybe 300 women i'm 40 years old next year and i party every year three times a year in ibiza you look pretty I like young. pardon you look pretty young thank you but my point saying is generally like when i was say maybe 13 14 15 the girls were perhaps a lot more quieter since then now at my age i find that the women are more dominant than the men in the bedroom mm. i would say that's quite a fact like my girlfriend introduced us to sex toys she likes to try new things she brings out this that the other like women aren't as submissive and like feminine as you may think uh right i, I don't think that I don't think that I would put it this way. I mean, they definitely Can change ask you a their question, behavior. What do you also think about these men that wear dresses and they decide to compete against females in sport? Do you think that's fair? I don't think it's fair, but uh, it's just. How can you support that, LGBTQ and then tell me what you what you're just picking and choosing what parts of it you support? Uh, I, I think there. I think we need more uh, nuanced categories. You need what? Yeah, you could have a, you could have a unisex category. Where yeah. anybody could do it, but the problem is, is they're not unisex. They class themselves as women, which they're not. They're men mm -hmm. in dresses. Well, um, like they I'm have curious. a natural biological advantage because of testosterone. There was recently there was a, a, a male swimmer that came. Was it fifty seventh in the men's, and then entered the women's competition and came first. Yeah. You know why? Because he's stronger than the women. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Same as the boxing. There was a boxing, a bloke who decided to do MMA. He was a he entered women's MMA because he came 127th in MMA for men, went in women's and beat all the women up. Surprise, surprise. It's kind of like matching low weight category with high weight category. Like I no, versus the thing is, he's not, they're the same weight. They're the same weight. Hmm? I can understand doing that, but they're not. They're, they're the same weight category. The difference is, is one's got balls and one was born with a penis and the other one was born a woman. And I think that you shouldn't. If it was just the World Boxing Championships, anybody can enter. If it's the Women's Boxing Championships, only fucking women should be able to enter. Same with men. Mm -hmm. And that's not happening now because we've got men and women competing in the, all the gender sport. And I don't think that's fair. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I mean, you can you can say that I'm cherry picking which positions uh, I will but defend. Are. But do you not agree with that? Sure, sure. Because look, you agree with me on that stance about sports, gender yeah. sports. Like, if it was cycling and it was like the Tour de France or a marathon, men and women compete against mm -hmm. each other. That's fine. But when it's it's gender specific roles, like when it's gender boxing, mm -hmm. gender cycling, swimming, like I believe that you can't choose to be the opposite gender because you get a distinct advantage. That's simply unfair. I'm I'm a big capitalist, so I would really like to see a free market in comp in competitive sports. You know, I, just, I if there's a market for unrepresented groups of people, someone should just create this uh, championship, but, and you you could have people just is, compete by whatever categories have. the market demands. Well, we have football. Football, one of the biggest sports in the world. You've got men's football, you've got women's football, correct? Yes. Why don't we have Why don't we have gender mixed teams? Because women can play football. I've watched them; they're good. Mm. Why don't we have gen why don't we have mixed gender football teams? Why is there no women playing for Man United? I'm not sure if it's uh maybe there's no demand, maybe there's just well, no, there, well, there just... is demand because women's World Cup mm -hmm. the women's football also creates an awful lot of money. Mm -hmm. Not as good as the men's, but it still does a lot of money and we have world teams. But I have never seen a mixed football match ever. Mm. Which it's is pretty interesting actually to thinking see. about yeah. it. Um I'd assume that men would really outperform women, so Why? it would be Isn't very that interesting. Of you? What? Why? Uh, I think they're, they're, they're stronger. Yeah, yeah, basically. I, that's that's my point. So men shouldn't be in women's boxing because men are stronger. Hmm. You put men against women, it gives men an unfair advantage. If it was a women's, I don't know what women are better than men at. Like there are certain things. It's like race. They say we're all the same. Yet I disagree. I think Chinese people are better at certain aspects. Black people are generally stronger and built more physically than white people. Yeah. Um, we're not equal. <laughs> yeah, we're all... The people like, without being rude, people like you and all these, like, millennials and shit, 
they all tried to put tarnish all with the same brush. We're all human. We're all the same. We're not all the same. We're different. It's okay to be different. You wouldn't put a Chihuahua and a Rottweiler in a fucking ring together and let them fight because they're both dogs, but the Rottweiler will eat it. Sure. What I think it would be interesting is like to have like high tier females again meet against mid tier males. I think that will be a more balanced, yeah, but more the interesting. Is, but then you're still saying you're fighting men with women, which I mean, which is fine to do, but you're acknowledging the two different sexes. Now yes. LGB, let's just say the gays mm -hmm. don't acknowledge two sexes. There's 27 different sexes now. <laughs> like, how can there be? Like, they can't. Mm. You're either man or woman. Sure, I mean, well, when we're talking like about this, I, we're just painting with a very broad brush about all these arguments. I don't think that every single person uh, that claims to support this movement is uh, claiming everyone's the same, we should just have uh, unisex, uh, you know, a mixed No, they're not calling, no, they don't want unisex, they want men to be able to compete in women's sports. Yeah, yeah, I don't think every single, uh, like, trans Well, person most of them do, because it's happening is... now, and if you go on the news, and um, we're going to the World Cup, like, in world sports, the yeah. Olympics, We've got men competing in women's categories. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, you're do you know, right. know yeah. Yeah. there's some women at, that get fined for using testosterone because, it, like, it's drug tested. Because they mm -hmm. take testosterone to give them an edge and they get banned. Yet a man that already has the testosterone can compete. <laughs> now, if you were to say, it's okay, let the women take testosterone injections to bump up the testosterone to make them equally as strong, then it's fair. But that's not allowed because it's drugs. Yeah, yeah. There's a very grey area which I find very unfair. Now, I support gay people. Like I've got no problem with them. It's just that it's an easy argument, and this is a debate. <laughs> like I actually support gay people. It's just you're sitting there with it, and I found something that you're biting on, so I'm having fun with it. Okay. <laughs> like I've got no out of all your stuff, tariffs, intellectual property. I don't know why you'd be against intellectual property. Uh, I think we're moving to a more platform-based uh, IP enforcement system where private platforms are just, you know, uh, coming up with whatever terms the market demands and people are choosing... Yeah, but intellectual know, property just means somebody owns something that they've created, so to speak. For example, like, I created Facebook, it's mine, let's say. Like, that, that's my intellectual property, I own it. That's perfectly well, fine. Well, the intellectual property is there that uh, no one else is allowed to make a website called Facebook, right? That's the IP, but the servers are physically yours. You physically own the servers. Yeah, so, but, but, the, but getting somebody to copy me, I'm sorry, but like people always do that. Like you will have, like McDonald's. McDonald's have just been banned in Russia, so Russia have brought out the exact same ingredients, the rest of it, and called it something else. But it's still McDonald's. The food's the same, everything's the same, it's called something else. It's still intellectual property, and whoever did it right, but you can't be against that. How can you be against somebody creating something and saying, look, this is mine, what you meant to... I meant to give all my shit away to people for free. I'm sorry, I don't. I didn't understand what you said. Well, when you call you're against intellectual property, mm -hmm. for example, if you created, you built your house. So, for example, that would be your intellectual property. You built it, you created it. You're telling me you're against that. <laughs> no, I. That's physical property. Intellectual it's still property. Intellectual is property. You designed it. You ideas, created it. Having rights to name, to label things like with your brand, you know. And, Having rights to a movie, to a poem, to immaterial things, right? Yeah. A house is a physical property. I'm I'm pro physical property, okay? Like servers, houses, yeah. Well well, any intellectual property is something created so it'd have a patent with it. It would have um it's anything you've designed, it's say for example, a picture, uh, an artist, a, a musician. Mm -hmm. You're telling me as a musician if I make music it shouldn't be mine. Uh yeah, I think I think that for example, let's say, let's say, let's say Michael Jackson, bad, yeah? Michael Jackson, great song, Michael, or oh, Queen, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Mm -hmm. They created the song, they sung it, they enti they're entitled to every single time it gets played to earn royalties from that because people are getting paid. Mm -hmm. You're telling me they shouldn't get paid for stuff that that's their intellectual property? I think that they do, even though intellectual property is essentially, effectively unenforceable. People use copyrighted tracks all the time in their material, in their but YouTube it's, it's, videos. It's, it's their... enforceable. People get charged for it. People have been sent to prison for copyright fraud. People have been sent to prison for downloading illegal music. Yeah, like 30 years ago. Well, no, quite I recently. I should See... be in jail. Like, I should be have serving a quintuple life sentence, dude. 
I, I should I downloaded so much copyrighted shit already. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. But what you're saying, okay, you just haven't paid the person whose intellectual property it is, which is yeah. fine. You've got. I it watch for anime. Free. I watch Marvel movies. I watch every fucking well, shit on. that gets so this made. This is fine, on, but you're not free. you're not making any gain from it. Now, if you owned, mm. uh, say, a radio station and you were streaming all. All these are not paying oh. you as earning say million. Surely they should have some money out of it. Sorry, you froze for like twenty oh. seconds. I said that say for example you had a million dollar business, a radio station, mm -hmm. which made a million dollars a year by using all their intellectual property. You they then are entitled to some of the money you've made because you're using their shit. Uh it doesn't end user, you can... what? as an end user like me and you just downloading music for our own personal use, mm -hmm. we're not monetizing it we're not making money from it so there's okay. no issue in my head okay. but if you may turn it into a business i believe whoever's intellectual property it is should get their cut yeah that's one way you can organize society and that's roughly how uh, we're trying to do it right now but i don't think that that's necessarily the most efficient i don't think that like if you have means to distribute content and you can make money by doing it you can i i, I don't think that society would collapse because of that and i um I think we would just have more cheaper, more uh, the, more just there would just be more cheaper sources of content out there. I don't think that these multi-billion dollar industries would go bankrupt because they use digital technologies to enforce their uh, intellectual property in a way that they still have a huge uh, amount of uh, gain. Even though people do take those things and steal them and put them on websites and then put ads and make a lot of money by streaming uh, stolen content. But these, uh, you know, Netflix, Amazon, they still make a fuck ton of money. It's yeah, but they, they, you're just talking about, say, video shows. Let's talk about inventions, like the guy that created the light bulb. Like, he created that. It's an invention. That's into intellectual property is more important when it comes down to creativity, like inventing things, creating things, artists. Now, what would be the point in me creating a cure for cancer if then it's not my intellectual property? Uh, I think that we can have different uh, enforcement mechanisms. I, when I say that, okay, that's now this, we're talking about patents specifically, not just in, in the, yeah, like, patents. Sure. Patents, I yeah. think, is good because people steal your shit, and I think people need a right. It's like you build a house; that's your home. If I created a cure for cancer, I would like to patent it to make sure that my hard work is rewarded. Like mm -hmm. you go to work, and I expect you to be rewarded for it. Yeah, uh, if you if you do that. I, the, the way you would go about doing that in my ideal society would be slightly different than we do today. Instead of going to a government and saying, you guys have all the guns in the world and all the army in the world and just, you know, beat the shit out of everyone who tries to make money off of my ideas. I think that you would have like a collaboration and uh, uh, voluntary private uh, firm enforced contracts between uh, industries and, you know, companies of, you know, uh, joining together and funding together things and then distributing profits according to the rules of the contract. Yeah, there's always shit that's wrong. Like I, I, I agree. Um, it's, it's just I don't know. Some things are weird. What else is there on here? You see, you're a fan of capitalism, yet well, see, how can you be pro capitalism and not pro intellectual property? It's more or less the same thing. That, that's a funny one, yeah. I'll, uh, but there are a surprising amount of capitalists are saying that intellectual property is not valid because. Uh, the like the new movement of libertarians they're all saying that uh only physical property is real property and you yes but, but, okay but when you call it physical property i, I say I, for example i invented the light bulb mm -hmm. for example i i invented the electric car it, it's a physical thing but mm -hmm. to create that it was mine if we created like a, a time travel or something like somebody invented it like tesla like he created lots of things with power solar panel mostly and i believe that the concept which was theirs how could I put this it's like building a computer if, if some like without the iphone like without the, the somebody creating computers and processors we wouldn't have phones we wouldn't have this that the other and i believe that because of somebody creating that does that now if we was to stop people from creating things because we say intellectual property is null and valid people wouldn't create things we wouldn't progress uh, I think it is the opposite. I think that current intellectual property structure uh, disincentivizes. Like, I think if you invent something and then someone else, or if someone invents something, but you invent it in the same at the same time, but yours is slightly better than than theirs. You know, if if they patent it, 
it's kind of a bad situation for the world because instead of having two competing products, yours would be, would be better and outperform and make more money. They have a shittier product which is patented and for five ah, or ten years. Oh, but when you're saying patented, to... see, I don't think you understand the whole concept of patenting something. If they patent something, something they've created, so to speak, it's done their way. My competitors would be done a different way. We're not creating the same exact thing. Two people don't create the exact same thing. But you're then advocating for a loophole where everyone can just, you know, change slightly change the color of their product and then it's fine. It doesn't violate but it, the no, patent, It's right? not down to the color. It's down to the mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Like, if I've looked at patents before. Like, we was designing something for a business I was doing a few years ago and we had to apply for patents for it. In the, mm -hmm. I, I deal with laser cutting. And we Ooh. made something that would hold the heat in so we could disperse the heat better. And we had to put a patent in for it. Mm -hmm. And it's not about the color scheme or anything like that. It 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 it, it was the the mechanics of it or or, or the, the the rotations of certain parts that aren't been done before. Mm -hmm. well, and do you think Sorry. that do you think that people in other countries, like in China, could take a look at the thing you created and reverse engineer it and make their own thing and just sell it and ignore it? But then they would be messing with my patent. Then, then, then that's a good thing. They're innovating. From it's like we do now. We had a car, say a hundred years ago, the first car was made. People have seen that car, and we've turned a car that travelled eight miles an hour to now to three hundred miles an hour because people have improved upon the original concept. Sure, but China does it can literally do. Uh, you know, identical copies and just, you know, ignore pa the American patents and... Oh, America, with, right? because China doesn't give a fuck, that's why. Yeah, but then you're effectively excluding all of the your fellow men from your country from, you know, uh, benefiting from this uh, world market of, uh, you know, uh, this new uh, invention. That, that's not true, because you've only got to look, for example, cars and computers. Like, you've got mm -hmm. Samsung, Microsoft, Apple, like, BMW, Audi. Like, there are so many competing people. The mm -hmm. only things you can't compete against is government. Like, we can't compete against them. And we can't compete against the energy companies for some reason either. Because anything that comes from a natural resource, it's just fucked. There was a guy that managed to make his car run off water, which physicists say is impossible because you can't create combustion. But he managed to do it, and before he managed to patent it and get it out, he died, surprisingly. <laughs> Well, I I looked into this and I'm not sure that I believe in it. I, I think that uh, it's sort what, the of the guy that ran his car off water. You looked into that too. Yeah, I think that he does. He was using uh, hydrolysis, right? And he was basically just putting electricity in to separate the hydrogen. And at the end of the day, I think the thermodynamical equation was that you end up wasting more energy uh, than you uh, get out of it. But I'm not an expert physicist. Just just yeah. the documentary. But, the is, is we could, but it was still run on water. It didn't require any biofuel. Like it, 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 it was clean fuel. It's a bit like wind turbines are clean fuel. It's water and wind, and we have lots of them. Solar panels are all more, almost clean fuel too. It was to stop using oil and gas and coal and shit, like natural resources. And I think that's fine, but we can't compete against them because it's like the war against marijuana. Like Tobacco companies don't want that because they lose money. <laughs> okay, anything else? I don't know, dude, I'm just chatting shit now. I'm just waiting for the next thing for you to... What is your most passionate thing? What are you most passionate about? Oh, Jesus. Um, I mean, probably... Probably uh, seasteading uh, and startup societies, um, private cities, yeah, charter cities. Uh, um, yeah, privatizing uh, the legal system. You think that would be a good thing? There's a way to do it that would be much better than our But wouldn't that mean that one person or one chair board of people dictates what our laws are? <laughs> I think that's what we have today. Um, I, think they is, have no I live in a democratic society where we choose our people in charge. Yes, we don't necessarily get to choose the laws, but mm -hmm. we get to choose the people to put in that sit there and discuss laws. I think if, if it was private, like Elon Musk had all the power, we wouldn't have a choice at all. We would just have to do it. Basically, it would be a dictatorship. I, I wouldn't say that. I think that's well, well, yeah, okay. If you, if for example, if I gave you all the power to create all the war, laws in your country, it is a dictatorship because it's your way. True, true. But I don't think that the entire country is my private property. But but if you but if we was to make the law private, mm -hmm. it would be somebody's property because they dictate the laws. Yeah, I, I think I I should personally buy land with my own money and then make laws on that land. That's what I want. Unfortunately, it depends. Like, I see where you could. I believe that if you own a piece of land, you should be able to govern it as you see fit. Your home is your mm -hmm. castle. You should be able to. I agree with mm -hmm. you. But unfortunately, if you buy land in, say, 
an Arab country, you have to live by Arabic laws. You buy yes. one in America, yeah. you live by American laws. England, same thing. Um, whether I agree to it is a different story, but I am aware and I am kind of happy that it's a country, like a democratic society that I live in, that I don't live in a country where one man says, uh-uh. <laughs> like, for example, you're the boss and I live in Croatia with you and you decide, oh, I don't like that guy's house and shit, so I'm going to go and tell him that's illegal because you have the power to do that and nobody can stop you. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, shit, I've got messages. <sighs> So, yes. Well, I'm going to roll me a big fat joint. You've probably had enough of me for now, brother. But, um, I have had fun talking to you. I hope Likewise. I haven't offended you. I didn't mean to. I just enjoyed having a bit of a debate. Uh, I, I was I was a little triggered uh, halfway well, through. I, I meant to trigger you, but I only meant in joke. Like, I, I mean, no, nothing against you personally. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. It's good exercise. I, I'll yeah, try hey, to stay dude, chill. I'm sitting here. Chill. I've got a gold phone call. All right. Peace.